everyone and welcome to this session. My name is Defa Ansokal and today we are going to continue with our topic on R vector functions. There are different ways in which we can create vectors in R and these functions they include the rep function, we have the sequence function, we have the is dot vector function, we have the as dot vector function, we have the all function and etc. But today we are going to measure our topical discussion on the rep function. We found that this is a function in R which helps one to replicate or rather repeat elements of a, ve a given vector. And its syntax is basically writing the function rep in add this one over here but today we are going to look at how this rep function can be applied when creating vectors in r we find that there are three main ways in which you can apply this rep function we have you we have the first one where we are going to use rep function together with the times argument and in this case i'm going to show you how to repeat a vector element using the rep function together with the times argument but before we do that we are going to create our variables which we are going to be using throughout this session we have two variables we have variable x and variable y and after creating our variables and assigning them values or rather elements and you apply this rep function together with the times argument to our variables this is what we get you find that here the variables or rather the elements i mean the elements in the variables have been repeated a given number of times which we had defined earlier as three times and another way in which we can apply the rep function is by using the each argument here we find that each element in a given variable is going to be repeated by a given number of times and we have defined our our number of times in which each element should be repeated to be three so when you run this chunk this is what you get you find that each element has been repeated three times here we have a repeated three times the same applies to element b the same applies to element c and lastly we can apply the rep function by using length dot out argument and here we find that this function will keep on repeating itself until the mentioned length is reached here our desired length is six and when we apply this length dot out arguments to the together with the rep function to this variables that you had already defined this is what we get we find that each element is going to be repeated until our desired length is reached and here our desired length is six and this comes to the end of our discussion today and in case you have any question or any comment kindly feel free to send them to our comment section you can always check us on facebook at beyond analysis and also on youtube channel at beyond analysis thank you for your time and thank you for choosing to be part of our audience until next time bye